What are you rolling around in? Today is gonna to be the day we're gonna get this chicken coop. Well, we're gonna start preparing this chicken coop for chickens. I haven't had chickens before, so like everything else, I'm not an expert on it. We're gonna head off um, to, what's it called, Evans? So I am gonna tidy this up when we get back, but we're gonna head off to Evans Chickens um, to get some advice and some supplies for what we're gonna do here. That will be where we'll be purchasing our chickens from as well. Okay, the uh, chicken project, the chicken coop project is now officially underway. We are at the chicken supply place. I don't know what you call them. They sell chickens and chicken supplies. So we're gonna go and check it out, get whatever supplies we need first, then tidy the coop up. And then we're going to um, get some chickens. I like Greg for my chicken. I want to call mine Greg. Uh, yeah, so three hybrid. three years out of a hybrid for eggs, you say? Two. Roughly, two. oh, two, okay. Two. Yeah. Okay, and that normal... we could be dead by then, who knows, so. We hope not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're only 13, 14 weeks. Yeah, but they're coming up to full size. They, they mature quite quickly. Yeah. These are hybrids. These what? are hybrids, these are not purebreds. Okay. Um, and they start laying at what, 18? Roughly weeks or? Mm, weeks depending long? on the season. Okay. Now the whites can start as early as 13 weeks. Mm -hmm. If you look at combs, see how the one sitting up here, her comb's maturing really well? Yep. yep. She'll be quick, she'll be quick, quick in delay. So on the other of the Sussex, they're purebreds. They're beautiful. Sussex are beautiful. They are the blondes. They are pretty, aren't they? They are the blondes beautiful. and they're there to look good. Right. So, so we could, what, could you have two browns and one of those, or two would, of the... I would, two of those if you want, two browns. Two and two. They, two and two? Yeah. We're at four now. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> you don't have one, that's what we're yeah. saying. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the arc was filled two by two. Oh, one, sorry. Two. Okay. If there's... Uh, oh, is this them there? These are having a party. Oh, is this them that you're talking no, about? No, 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 they're oh. different ones. Oh, my God, look at them. So what are they? Um, babies. They are, there's lights, your lights on on your phone, so oh, thanks. Um, gold lace wine dots, cream leg bars. They're so cute. Yeah, they are cute. They used to have a farm in Quakers Hill. Um, Quakers used, Hill yeah, farm. Wow. They used to ship chicks around the country by train. So I mean, you know, he's got. He's got it in his he's, blood. He's got it. He's chicken <laughs> So we're at Evans Chickens in Moralia. Um, we don't know anything, so it's been really handy. Joanne and Rodney here have been an absolute wealth of information. We've got a few supplies. This is where we'll be getting the chickens from. They've also got all the supplies here for them. They gave us a lot of, gave us a lot of advice about uh, cleaning out the coop initially. So now we can start cleaning it out and get the project going. But if you are looking to get some chickens, I definitely recommend coming here because um, even for first timers, they're very helpful. Oh, Timmy is so cute. That's his sister, and he just jumps on her. Hello. Yeah, so this is Timmy. Timmy, and how old? Three months. No, I think he was born. Will Timmy bite me? No, he jumps so hard. Hi, Timmy. Hello, if Timmy. If you want to just have a sniff. Timmy was in the kitchen. Timmy, Timmy comes in our house. Oh, you, hello. Did you try and find the biscuits, Timmy? Oh, <laughs> Timmy the alpaca. He's got a red jumper. Maybe that's not a good idea. What's no. this pretty one's name? <laughs> Daisy. Daisy, you're beautiful. You've got beautiful eyes, haven't you? Oh, Daisy, you're so Hello. Pretty. Oh, look at those pretty eyes. She's like, who are you? I've not seen you before. <laughs> All right, we are back. We have some supplies. Before we start, I want to tidy up just a little bit around the outside. We've got some little bit of overgrown grass edges around the tip of it there. Oh, quite a few wasps. Um, the roof probably needs a bit of a blow down too, I imagine. Give, you'll get a better look than me. I've got the ladder here. Hopefully they're friendly wasps. Oh, okay. So we've got quite a bit of debris on here that I want to clean off. Oops. I wonder if they're going to like the big backpack crest blower. Do that first. So yeah, as I said, this is the uh, 60 volt crest backpack blower. I do like this machine, it's very comfy on the back. Feels pretty premium, the batteries are cool. Very easy to get on and off. I say that, it's awkward with one hand, but just push that lever. Slides on, slides off. And super quick charging times for them as well. Oh. Whoa. 
I would describe that as quite effective, particularly down that end, under the tree here, where all of this has been falling and collecting water. It's a little bit dirtier. I'm just gonna broom that off and then I'm gonna try and clear out this gutter, particularly again at this end, where it gets all the fall off from the trees. It, the rainwater is being harvested from this roof, goes into that gutter, then into that drum there uh, which then supplies the chickens with water. It worked. It worked pretty well. Oh. All right, roof is clean. The gut is pretty clean. Um, good start. Around here is a bit of a mess. Lots of sticks and debris and all of that. I might just try and clear some of these for our burn pile and then see how much we can blow away with the old uh, Crest backpack blower. Oh, how's this bark? So most of that bark, or oh, all that bark's obviously coming from that tree there which is uh, passed away. I guess we'll have to get rid of it at some stage. Cleared out a lot of the dead stuff. Um, not going too crazy, but then I'll get the blower and I don't, I don't even know how it'll go. There's a fair bit of dirt on here, but hopefully we can blow away some of the leaf matter. So I think this will be a bit of a ongoing project. Um, it's just easier to walk around here now. It was very slippery. Also a lot of um, potential fire load here. We've blown a lot of the top layer off and you know, it's quite wet under there. So I'll let that dry out now for a bit and I might give it another blow down later. But it's a lot clearer, a lot easier to walk around here. Still not perfect, never going to be perfect. Just gonna hit it with the trimmer around the coop now very quickly, tidy it up, and then we're gonna be heading into the coop finally to start work on the coop. This machine arrived a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't had a chance to use it because of everything that's been going on. It's the Steel FSA-90R, so it runs on their AP batteries. This is one of my older AP batteries, which I've had probably for four or five years. They did send the, I think it's the AP500S, which is their um, largest capacity battery. So the AP series is their, professional line of gear. It's the head on it there. It's a, you know, stills version of a speed feed. Auto cut C26-2. I think I've got some of that Izuma line in it, that 2.7 round line. Not a lot to do here, but we're uh, gonna christen it. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so that's a very quick look at it. I'm gonna put it to use obviously a lot more, but um, it has the motor in the head, this machine. So if you don't like that, that balance where, you know, it's, it's kind of bottom heavy, you probably won't like this machine. It feels absolute quality. You obviously can't fault them for that. That weight is in the, the head there. So might take a little bit of getting used to if you haven't had a line trimmer with the, look at this dog. What are you doing? Um, yeah, it might take a bit of getting used to if you're not, if it's something you haven't used before. The guard's very good. It doesn't get in your line of sight, which is a big plus obviously on a professional machine. Now this isn't the top of the range in their professional machine, but it does run on their professional batteries. Anyway, I will have plenty more of it. I'll do a independent video for it at some point. We'll have to clean them when we get in there. Okay, so that's sufficiently clean. Looks like it's gonna rain again. Damn it. Um, sufficiently clean on the outside now for us to venture on the inside. Um, we went to, what's it called again? Evan's Chickens. Yeah, we went to Evan's Chickens. Got some supplies. What did we get? So we got a few things, but the process is firstly going to be to rake all this out, Nicole. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Nicole hopefully was active listening when we we're being told what to do. Uh, we're going to rake all this out back to dirt, which it actually isn't too bad, hey? And then in here, oh. So we have to clear all this out, clear that bedding out there, which it's not that much work, couple of shovels in there. Uh, then we have to spray with this, which is apparently gonna get rid of all the mites and all the nasties that, uh, that chickens don't like. So I think we have to spray that and then leave it for a few days before we do anything else. We can't put the other stuff down till Okay, yeah, so Nicole's saying we have to spray everywhere, every little nook and cranny, then leave it for two or three days to dry. Yep. And then we've got some other stuff, but that's not gonna... Then we've got like some powdered disinfectant that you put in the soil. Um, but yeah, we won't be doing that today. So let's get to... When you actually get in here, it's really not that intimidating, is it? Watch out, mate. The other way. Uh, I'm just going to take this out, give it a clean out there because it's a little bit. Uh... Oh, God, this is tight. We got lots of silverfish going crazy. Okay, that looks cleanish. It's going to do, I think. Pretty much back to uh, bare dirt. Next step to poo. Oops. Oh, so much. Oh. How clean have I got to get this? To wash down the windowsills, so I'll do. Okay, so I've got to get, yeah, but it, like how, what level do I have to get it to? Just all the loose material out. Okay. So they did, so they literally crap while they sleep. Yeah, they, on those, see those perches up there? Yeah. They sit there and then they, they poo below them. That's why you, um, because they eat at night time and then they poo at night. Yeah, so. <laughs> We were told they, uh, yeah, they eat at night time and then they uh, go and have a little rest on these perches and 
let it all drop out. I don't know. I think that's as good as it's going to get. It's a little bit harder to get out than I thought it was going to be. But I mean, effectively, it's it's a toilet bed anyway. Yeah. Uh, and that's the nesting box there, yeah? Yeah, that's it. So that's where they will lay the eggs? Yes. So we're going to clean that out next. Yeah. Alright, we're going to go and spray the whole coop now for mites. Apparently they hide in everywhere, so got to be pretty thorough with this. I mean, I'm saying these steps like I'm an expert, but I'm just doing what I'm told, basically. <laughs> okay, that's done. Sprayed. We're going to leave it for... We'll probably leave it for five days or something, four or five days. Uh, then we're going to totally prep it for the chickens and get some chickens. So make sure you're following or subscribe to see what chickens we get. Plenty more to come on the channel. We still obviously haven't even touched the veggie patch yet. The rye project is going very, very well. I don't know if you can see the tinge of green up there. The robot mowers are working. Well, okay, the coal wall, the co wall should be working, but it's, I don't know what it's doing down there. I'll go check that out. I'm gonna go and have a walk down the back, see if I can find anything interesting. Until then, I'll see you next time. So, uh, this is the most random thing. <laughs> a car that is, crumbling in on itself. I don't know how long this thing's been here. Have a look at that. The roof's rusted right through. Engine and gearbox. Wow. In a weird spot, hey? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm.